the only way to dispel darkness is by introducing light. So stopping by this morning to help introduce some light into your day. I also want to encourage you to turn the light on for yourself and someone else. Take some time, comment, post, share, make your own post and introduce some light to the social media atmosphere. That's the only way that we're going to flood it with light and overcome the darkness that's out there. So today we're looking at Psalm chapter 86, verse 15. It says, But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. God is willing when you are not. This is a reality and a truth that we have to understand. You know, if I stepped on your foot and continued to do so, and I continue to, to tell you I'm sorry, but never change my actions. There would be a point in time in which you would be done with me. This is essentially how we handle and deal with God. We offend, we make mistakes, we fall, we falter. But this scripture reminds us that God loves us so much. He's plenteous in mercy. That if we're sincere and we are trying to make a change, he does not give up on us. God is willing to go further than we are at times. Many times we're willing to shut people off and ignore them, close them out, but God says, I still love. I want to encourage you today because we at times are not willing to believe that God can forgive us and he's willing to go further than we are. I know that whatever you are in, whatever decisions you have made, they may not be the best decisions and you might be aware of that. But I'm telling you today that there is a God that loves you. And if you will reach for him, he will have you. Because God will go further than you think that he will. God did not come down, robe himself in flesh, and come down to this earth so that he could reject us. But he came so that he could give us life, so that he could give us hope, and he could give us an opportunity to have eternal life and be with him. So when we mess up, don't allow the enemy to convince you that God is fed up with you and he's not willing to deal with you anymore. He's going to go further than you think he will. So when you've fallen, when you've made that mistake, that great error, don't just turn your back and say, there's no hope for me. Instead, turn to him and say, God, I know that you're gracious, that you are willing to forgive, God, that you are loving. And because of that, Lord, I am coming to you acknowledging that I've made my mistake, but also knowing that you are God who was aware of my mistakes before I ever made them and that you prepared a way for me to make things right. So I'm not saying continue to make mistakes and expect God to just ignore every mistake, but I am saying when you make mistakes, because you will make mistakes, don't turn away and say that there's no hope for me. Instead, turn to him and realize that he is the only hope for your life. Acknowledge that God loves you and let him forgive you. Let him heal you. Let him make you whole and let him restore you. This is the God that we serve that's willing to go further than we are. I want, to want you to take some time, make your own post, turn the light on for somebody else today. Encourage them and let them know that there is a God that loves them, that's actively involved in their life, that wants to help them and set them free. God bless you. I love you. Make your own post, share, like, comment. Have a wonderful day. Bye.